Yo, what are you guys are back here from an episode of Iron Man Armored Adventures. Today we got season one, episode 21, design only for chaos. Last episode, we had Tony, Pepper, and Rhodey went to go find the next ring. It was in a middle volcano. They had to pass the test. The test was literally just to dump both of the, like, it was like a beam of light. And you just dump the coal and the hot together. Uh, it wasn't really that easy, but it, I spent a couple of times trying to figure that out. I ended up turning Rhodey and Pepper into like, lava monsters while Jean Khan was like all the way in New York calling them it's like hey guys tell me where you guys are and then they always hung up on him like literally like four times and he got pissed every single time it's like hey where you guys at tell me now <laughs> obviously he wanted the ring but they got the ring they came back and they showed Jean Khan so he knows Tony has one of the rings he knows it's activated so he may steal it pretty soon here but let's get into this thank you guys for watching I really do appreciate it. make sure like comment, subscribe to sam yet and let's go yeah oh man i am please don't show nick fury like living laser oh, what's going on here whatever was holding you together isn't anymore and i'm afraid it could be fatal oh okay so you're basically saying he's gonna die i'm afraid there's nothing more shield can do for you but a civilian has come forward someone who's familiar with the equipment that first transformed you into the living laser he's offered to help hey you're welcome someone wants to help you're welcome me. the best man in the world tony stark hey. funny he's gonna end up liking tony but hating iron man <laughs> uh crazy how the world works huh mr parks my name is tony stark my father made the suit that did this to you. I was on the helicarrier a while back and learned about your condition. My dad's technology is causing it. So your dad, he was some kind of crazy inventor? Uh, I, yeah, no, I wouldn't say crazy. I would say genius. This isn't your dad's fault, kid. It's Iron Man's. What? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Iron Man did this to me, huh? not your dad. No, uh, that's not what. Okay, that's it. You're done for today. What? what? How was he supposed to help him? He just had. He was just talking to him. Did you do that? The helicarrier just went into full alert. We have to get you out of here. Oh, right hey. Well, nice to see you back, bro. Actually, about five minutes ago would have been better. Damn. Hey, just pay him off again, Tony. Agent Hill. A quick five million. He should be well, on his way. Well. Oh damn! Oh, so aim higher to kill. They were that mad from back then. He's yeah, aim be beefing with the little kid way too much. Don't tell me that blows up one of the engines. Huh, better. I mean, not better, but it didn't blow him up. It just turned him that off. Was the sound of the helicarrier's engines going dead? See round Stark, or maybe not. Tony, you could have in that time frame. I would have been like, "Hey, I'll I'll pay you ten million to stop everything you're doing right now." <laughs> you know, he might have took it. Ghost, you're persistent. I'll give you. Yeah, that. he really is. Tony, what are you trying to do, man? There's no way you're gonna. My bad, Tony. Who, 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 who's teaching you? Whitney? Nah, Whitney's definitely teaching him a thing or two. You can't tell me. So, you gonna try and take the laser or save the ship? You hey, why not both, homie? <laughs> He's that good? I don't know. I'm, I'm, it's literally impossible. It doesn't matter how good he is. Hey. Tony, hopefully you have, like, you activated your suit. They're gonna come to fly to you. Your unique energy signature is the perfect power source to bring our greatest creation to life. Modok. So they're just gonna use him to power Modok? Uh, hi. Hi? Tony, when are you gonna stop avoiding me? What? I I'm not. I I've just been... Let me guess. Busy. School stuff, lab stuff. All of the above? Tony, you've been disappearing after school and not to your lab, so why don't you tell me what's going on? We've been... I wasn't asking you, James. Oh, oh, whoa. James. <laughs> Old projects. I'm sorry, it's just been taking up a lot of my spare time. 
We'll talk, I promise. I, I just really need to get back to that project. Okay, but Tony, I want you to know that you can trust me. You can tell me- You anything. literally can. He's like your lawyer, your guardian, your, your dad's friend. It meets all the requirements. And Modoc will be the pinnacle of scientific achievement. A mental organism designed only for conquest. How does that even sound smart? World domination huh. and create a new world in the image of science. So you will be giving up your position, right? Uh, Laser, you lived a good life, man. Uh, wait, Tony, you didn't come... There has to be a plan here, right? Because you just showed up to their home base. Hey, hey, dude, I love Ghost, man. <laughs> you can respect them. You're still listening to him? I, I, I would have been thought you betrayed him by now. Ooh, that guy. Dude. Alright, Iron Man, calm down, bro. That guy's human. Oh, no, forget the robots. Right? I'm just gonna assume they're robots because that guy would be dead if they're not. Oh, so it works. So Modoc's good. Oh yeah, that thing is butt ugly, man. Hey, yo, no, we need to stop that thing ASAP. What the hell was that for, man? Modoc, why? Basil Sanders intends to betray AIM. Oh. Oh, so you're in charge now. Fine, I'll beat you up instead. Pretty good defense system. Iron Man. Threat status. Uh, no. Uh, disrespectful. But your mind is defenseless against mental attack. All of your knowledge, including your true identity, Ooh. is mine. Wait, so wouldn't an EMP, like, basically kill him? Because he's half machine. Pulsar technology, armor schematics, earth movers whoa, whoa, whoa. No, he can't be allowed to live, Iron Man. He's taking too much. The Living Laser learned he's Stark, so he's definitely gonna protect them now because he tried to save him. You need help. The energy from the equipment you are using has changed you. It could be fatal. Laser. Parks, right? Arthur Parks? What are you doing? You just want to take me out? Then what? He was trying to help. Me. Yes. What do you mean? He was kind of obvious. Guess what, freak? They used me to give you life. Oh. I'm betting I can take it oh. away. Oh. So. Hey, living laser. The redemption arc. It begins. Well, yeah, that's a good question. Where's Tony going? Someone is hacking through all our communication systems. We can't stop it. They're Fury. I've tracked the living laser to AIM headquarters. If you want your prisoner back, trace my signal right now. Okay, you're bringing shield here. That's actually the best plan I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Me ugly? Well, here you go. Oh, 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 oh. That, that sounds like a suicide statement. Arthur, bro. Don't die on us, man. Core processor and memory are damaged. I am at risk. Unacceptable. Modoc. Are you still locked? No way. All my life, I was a nobody. And I 
get this power and I use it to try and hurt you. The one guy who wanted to help me. But you saved me, Arthur. Yeah. Imagine that. Darn it. I'm the guy who saved I How do I feel bad Arthur died? Damn. Arthur, Arthur was a villain, but he was a good man. Tony, I know everything. What? Well, what? Well, yeah. yes. Iron Man? I know you've been going to work at S.H.I.E.L.D. trying to help that man. I know because I gave S.H.I.E.L.D. permission to let you. I also know you found out your dad made weapons for them. And I know you're taking it badly. How am I- Wait, hello, you're a little bit too smart. God damn. About using our genius to better people's lives. It's all lies. He made weapons and he never told me. Look at me, Tony. Do you know when Howard gave up the weapons business? 16 years ago. The day you were born. Ah, that's true. We never... He nearly destroyed his company doing it and spent... I've never literally thought about that. He could... He could have done it before Tony was born. Oh my god, Tony. He was always a father. <laughs> Proud of you. Thank you. See, Tony, you know what happens when you actually talk about your stuff, your feelings? A therapist would do wonders. Or, you know, Rhodey's mom. She seemed very smart. A little bit too smart. Who's she working for? But uh, Modoc is still alive. He escaped. He's out there somewhere. Don't know how. Uh, Liv and Laser literally give up his life to stop him. And he's just like, error, error. I cannot die here. And then he's good. What? Yeah, I cannot die here. That, that, that's cool. The fact that he got away is not. I'm just saying, like, like he just overcame that will or something. Like, come on, come on. Hey, man. Living Laser should have said, I can't die here. You know, I didn't really care for Living Laser, but this episode made me like him a lot more. Now, but he's gone. I'll never see him again. Unless he reformed because he's light. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm stretching him, but that's just the denial part talking. We didn't really see Rhodes or Pepper this much this episode. So it's just a literally Tony mission here. Ghost, also love him too, man. <sighs> he's funny. He does the job. You know, he's not actually a bad guy. He's just an assassin. You know, does he really have morals? It's up in the air. You know, he, he just wants money. I don't know why. He's got paid 10 million. You should be set for life. Why are you still in the business? Out of banquet at, at like 10 million. I won't have to work for the next 10 years. When you're running low, just go back. But then all oh, that also reminds me it was eh, another... Bring this back up. It was AIM that hired him. Why does AIM hate Tony so bad? Or is it like they just can't let him live after knowing they're evil, I guess? Well, they're, they're always going to be wanting this man Tony dead. They're beefing with the kid. Oh, well. It's AIM's technically half in shambles. They have MODOK though, so he basically can rebuild the whole organization pretty quickly. But it's going to be wild. We probably won't see him in season two. But thank you for watching. Really do appreciate it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to this. I'm going to catch you guys next time for another video. Peace, peace. Bye-bye. Have a good day.